absolute need to play squash. The clock is an insult. The seniors, as you can see, there are walkers in the wheelchairs. How on earth would any one of them have the opportunity to get up here before you decide to close comments? What an absolute disrespect. Even when you try to pretend to care, it, it doesn't work because you don't seem to get it. They can't get up and get up here that quickly. Some of us actually believe in respecting them and allowing them the opportunity to go first. I can't believe this. This is just once again. How sad. How seriously, seriously sad. With regard to the way you spoke to another senior that had asked a question earlier. He had asked about a particular business. When he went to staff to ask about the ongoing business, he was told to staff could not tell him because it was not public information. Who runs the business, who owns the business in the city is public information. And you're mouthing off to him and that's what it was. It was not gracious, it was not kind, it was not courteous. It was inappropriate even when it was in the hall. If you would like us to direct all those queries to public media, okay, we can. It'd be so much nicer if we could simply get the information in these walls. But you know what? I can find the source. Just like anyone here can go to the Department of Finance for the state of California. You can withhold all you want. We can still get it. Public information is public information. If you want the lawsuit, if you want another free First Amendment Coalition black hole award, keep on going. Because you're working on it. It will look really nice next to, what is that? The All-American City? Right. Black Hole Award, meaning that place where that extra sock goes, never to be seen again. How rude, how thoughtless, and how inconsiderate. Public records are public records. And whatever department we have to go to get to them, we do not deserve a mouth. We deserve an answer, a courteous and a gracious answer. You have created animosity. Good luck with how that works for you, because you know what? Some of us are not intimidated. <laughs> you know, the whole thing with the lawsuits, all the way to the Supreme Court. I'm going to ask Santa Monica, how much that lawsuit cost you? The other question to our redevelopment agency on the city of Bentwood acting as redevelopment agency, how much did you spend on the attorneys to avoid paying a man $200,000 for his ongoing business? A-L-I-K-U, I think is the way that would be spelled. I would like to know how much we spent on attorneys trying to deprive a business owner of more than $200,000. My name is Rosemary Becker and I've been in District 2 for since 1944. I want to say this about you. You people up there on the council, plus Willie Brown, is we are people are young. We will do whatever we say about that man. So we are smart as you think. They should get all the things. You say she did while she was a teacher. She would not have been able to run for office. If a person has a bad record, they can't even sign up to run. The school board would have stopped her. So please stop printing lies about her. As far as the way she votes, she has a free will and votes the way best for the issues. But you want to be conscious that you voted for something that is not right and not. Thank you for the 